Hello, everybody. Again, yo. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's ratchet. Chow. Mm, this ghetto ratchet setup, chow. I'm sorry. But I got to have it plugged up because I didn't fully charge my device today. So. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's ratchet. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see me. Okay. Hi, y'all. So this is my part two, okay? Y'all got to forgive me for um, my second video that I did to you today. It was a haul. And um, so you got to go back and check out part one of my Walmart Dollar Tree haul. This is part two. I had to come back. I had some uh, interruptions. So it's called Kids, Honey, and Children and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm back to do part two of my Dollar Tree and my uh, Walmart haul, okay? So, now, let's keep this moving. Okay, so, I bought a daily foot and heel cream lotion from the Dollar Tree, okay? This is my first time trying it by White Rain, okay? Hopefully, y'all can see that. Um, and at the bottom, it says daily... Uh, foot and heel cream right there. Can y'all see that right underneath of my finger? Okay, so I wanted to try that. Um, usually I use um, I don't have it sitting over here. I usually use um Dermacil uh, What is it called petroleum jelly? Um, Lord chair Let me show y'all Okay, this is part of my empties. Um, that's why it's in this bag because this is empties. I, I'm collecting some stuff to do an empties video. But this is what I use, okay, from the Dollar Tree. If you could see it through that bag, this is what I use, okay. And this is the short tube. It comes in a big tube, but they only had the short one. So that's what I use generally for my skin, and it keeps ash away like all day. And what I do is I put a layer of that on my feet, and then in addition to that, I take um. Let's see here. I take um, petroleum jelly, a.k.a. Vaseline, and I put that on my feet, okay, just to keep it, you know, because I don't like no husk and um, dry skin, and I don't like my heels ashy, and all. I don't like all that, okay? I don't, I don't like all that, all right? So, yeah, this is what I generally use, but I figured I wanted to try, you know, just to try it out, daily foot and heel cream, okay? So, once that get empty, I'll come back and uh, do an empties, or it might be in my favorites if I like it, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so, wait a minute, y'all. Let's see. Mm. All right. So, um, let's just keep this moving. Um, also, I bought a um, two-in-one foot file, okay? And hey, let me just take it out the pack. This is what it looks like. Okay, it's called a two-in-one foot file. Now, um, it has the, the rough part right here, and then it has like a file, like a um, emery board on the back. Okay, and this is for like the heels, the bottoms of your feet, because see, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't like no hus. And uh, not that I have hus, but I do, I do this kind of stuff to keep hus from building up, because if you don't take care of your feet, um, hus will, will build up. And if anybody don't know what husk is, it's, it's, it's that dry, crack, you know, looking type stuff on the back of people's uh, heels or their feet and, and ankles and all that stuff. See, I don't, I don't do all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's I got one of these. Now, usually, I bought a whole pack of emery boards from the Dollar Tree, okay? You got all these emery boards it's 36 of them. And this is what I usually use. I take the bigger ones and I usually do that, you know, um, the heels of my feet just to keep it smooth. Um, like I said, I don't like all that rough, dry skin, husk. I don't like all that. Um, my husband don't want to feel all that rough feet when you get in the bed and, you know, the feet touching. He don't want all that. Oh, he don't want all that. Okay. So I generally use these, but um, I figured I'd try this. Okay. And, um, there we have it, okay? So, enough about husk and stuff. <laughs> Child, and don't wear no sandals with no husk and dry stuff going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Child, anywho. All right, y'all, so, let's 
let's keep this thing moving. All right, so I have, um, now this is something that I've never seen before in the Dollar Tree. Now, maybe somebody else has, but I have it. Now, I, I don't have any problems washing my back. I can actually reach my back very well with my rag. Um, I do the top part of my back by doing like this, and then I do the bottom by doing like this. And see, I can reach pretty far. So I, I can wash my back pretty good. I can reach to like right here, and then I come like this and do that part. And it's fine. I've been doing it for 40 something years, so it works fine. But this is called a bath back band, okay, from the Dollar Tree. And not only was it cute, but I was like, wow. So what you do is you can wash your back with it, okay? You could just take it and wash your back, okay? Yeah. Now, if y'all see anything ratchet back there, like a paper clip, um, yeah, I'm ghetto ratchet. Y'all had to rig this because this is a beautiful necklace, with, but it's long. And every time I would bend over or whatever or move, it would get stuck down in my shirt. And I didn't like that. So um, I took, I'll do another video. It's called the DIY, how to uh, hook up and rig some stuff if you need to. So if y'all saw that paper clip back there on my necklace, um, mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all, so yeah, this is neat. And it it come it came in different colors, but I like the purple one. So yeah, a bath back band. This is, you can wash your back. If you have problems reaching your back, you can get your whole entire back with this. Okay. All right, so that was neat. I thought that was very neat. Okay. Now, um, I got what's called, and I've always wanted one of these, a kabuki brush from the Dollar Tree. Now I know y'all go to um Sephora and Ulta and um, Mac and all them folks and all that kind of stuff for your brushes and stuff, honey. But um, mm -mm, chair, I don't pay no more than a dollar for my brushes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anywho, y'all. Um, yeah. So I got me a Kabuki brush. Look, it says it. Kabuki cosmetic brush by Sassy Chic. So. Can y'all see that? Wait a minute, y'all might not can. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's this a kabuki brush for anybody, you know. And it was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And it's soft. I like the shape of it. That's kind of neat. And it's soft. Very, very, very soft. Okay? So you can get yourself a kabuki brush, horny. A kabuki horny. <laughs> Child, mm, 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 it is a time in the land, honey. Child. Okay, let's keep this thing moving right, right along. Okay, make sure y'all can still see mama and stuff. Make sure I'm still in focus and all that kind of stuff. Honey, because this is a lot to focus on. I'm trying to tell you, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's keep this thing moving. See, that's why my stuff be cutting off and I be having to do part twos and stuff. Because, see, I be playing and stuff. See, I play a lot. Mm -hmm. No fool, no fun. All right, y'all, so let's keep this thing moving. Okay, so, um, all right, so we did the back scrub brush from the Dollar Tree. Now, these two are from Walmart, okay? Um, just, just down here for me. These two right here are from Walmart, y'all. It's Maybelline Master Eye Studio. And what it is, is it's an eyeshadow that you can use to do um, smoky eyes. Okay? Now, I I don't, I love smoky eye looks, but for some reason I can't accomplish it. Um, I guess if I practice daily, I would be able to, but um, I always wanted to do a smoky eye. So this helps you with that process. Um... And it says, the color is smoldering violet. Okay, let me take it out the pack so y'all can really get the, the feel for how this thing really looks. Okay, you can use this one pencil to, to achieve a smoky eye. And they even give you the directions on the back. So I got to make sure that I don't destroy that totally. Okay, so this is what it is. Okay, it's a master smoky a Maybelline New York Master Smoky is the name of it, okay? I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that's the name of it, okay? And it's a big 
Oh, actually, oh, okay. What it is is you turn it up, and this is the eye line, this is the eyeshadow part. That's what it looks like. It's purple. It's called uh, ultraviolet. Okay, and you, what you do is it says you put um. Let's see. It's a smoky eye and two simple steps. You draw the stick line with the pencil tip. Okay, that's the tip. And then it says you blend the line out with the smudger. Okay, so I guess you would just take it and put it right above your eyelashes. And then take this part, which is the smudge part. It's a little... You know, like a little applicator, it's a soft, spongy type thing. So you draw your line, and then you take this and smudge it out throughout the eye. And I guess that's how you get your smoky eye look, okay? I didn't even realize this is how it worked when I got it. So I even like it even more. Okay, so I'm going to try to achieve those looks, and I'll make sure I come back and let y'all see that. So this is the um, ultraviolet. Is that what I said? What color did I say? Smoldering violet. I'm sorry, y'all. And this is the same exact thing, except for this color is Blue Blaze, okay? So I'm, I'm going to try to achieve um, a purple uh, look and a blue look using these, okay? So I thought that was really neat. Um, I'll be playing this stuff, y'all. Okay. Then I got... Oh, this is really cute, y'all. Y'all got to see this. This is... Now, I don't wear contacts, so why did I have this? I don't know. But this is a contact, um, let me get y'all the proper name. It's a red contact lens case, okay? Bam. Um, and like I said, I don't have contacts, but I just like cute little trinket things. Anything that's cute and little, it just attracts my attention. And I'm creative, so I try to find, you know, creative things to do with stuff. So it's, it's a contact lens case. Oh, and it has a mirror in it. Oh, that's even neat. I didn't even know that. And it's for contact lenses. But I saw somebody use this for makeup. Um, I don't know if they were repackaging some kind of um, eyeshadow or something. But I saw somebody use something like this for something dealing with makeup. So I said, well, I can. that's what I can use this for, to put some kind of makeup in. Um, I, I guess... I think somebody was depotting their eyeshadow or something. So I figured I could use that for this purpose. And then, you know, whatever. I'll find something to do with it. When I find something creative to do with it, I'll let you know. But it was only 50 cents. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. Original $3.94, 50 cents, bam. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Child. Then I got what's called... I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, wow. I didn't even know I had got that text message. Look, I got to make a call, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, let me show y'all one more item, and then I got to go. I got to make this call. I got this text message. I didn't even know. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, one more thing. Um, This is a glitter primer by e.l.f. From the Dollar Tree. Okay, it's called Sheer. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. So I wanted to try this out. Okay, and see how this works from the Dollar Tree. And then it said glitter. And anything glitter I love. So, bam. Okay, so, um, wow. I'm not done, but I got, I have got to make this phone call. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just ghetto ratchet. But I ain't never tell y'all this was nothing other than channel 100 aka 100 okay we keep it real ghetto over here okay all right so i'll see y'all in the next video only child girl if it's the lord's will child all right all right now child mm, i got things to take care of here child this is business mm, mm, mm. all right y'all bye